morning, everybody, and welcome to Leo's Golf Channel. Thanks for joining me today as I go deeper into the Pro-T VX Launch Monitor. I'd like to go through some shot shaping today. I'll show you some of the screens and the club metrics that are produced, and then take you into GS Pro, and I'd like to show in GS Pro how well it handles some subtle shots like your flops, small chips, and of course the putting. As always, if you have any questions, just look up my email address, leo at leosgolf.com in the profile, and send me your questions. If you'd like to purchase the system, I can certainly help you put together a package that would work in your environment, and I'm happy to help. So without further ado, just sit back, relax, and let's get this video rolling. Okay, so before we begin, I wanted to just outline a few of the features in the Pro-T Labs software. As you can see on screen, this particular window is showing you some of the major metrics. Uh, top left corner, launch angle, dynamic loft. In the center at the top, you get your impact, uh, ball impact spot on the club, which is fantastic, uh, giving you both the, uh, the height. Uh, they are working on lie. It is not out or functional as of yet, but they are working on lie and it will be out this year. Uh, in the third tile on the top right, you've got launch direction, your face angle, your spin and RPM, of course, and your swing path. Uh, bottom left, your typical top view so you can see your shot and how far offline it may be left or right. And a side view which uh, shows you your apex. And bottom right is a shot uh, video, which is uh, fantastic, and you're going to see that shortly. Uh, over on the bottom section, You've got all the parameters and they are customizable as well so you can come over and you can select whichever one you want and stick it in any tile location over uh, this two row grid that you like so we'll go on and now and take some shots and what i'll do is i'll pause i'll show you the uh the metrics um sorry before i do go on let me also show you some of the other uh window views as well so you've also got this second swing view which shows you your uh, club path top view and uh, side view and this window here which will show you your your ball spin after you've taken a shot and you can actually also go right into a larger view of the video which i'll show you as well uh, so i'm going to go to range first so you can actually see the shot happening uh, i'm not the world's greatest golfer that's why i'm not here and on the not on the tour sorry why i am here excuse me and not on the tour but what i'll do is i'll take some shots i'll, tr I'll attempt to try to shape them in different ways and that way you get an idea for what the club metrics are doing when i show you the other uh, views so i'm just uh just gonna get some soft eight irons nothing crazy try to just put them out there and then show you the shapes so first shot of the day, let's see what happens. So very light, only 115 yards. You see the apex appears, carry 106, total distance 115. And uh, there's all your parameters at the bottom. I won't go through all of them, but I will switch over to the other window and I'll show you some review. And here's what you get. So you get your launch angle 19 degrees, dynamic loft of 30. As I say, the lie they're still working on. Uh, smash factor is 1.19, very light. Uh, impact height was 0.4 inches, impact width 0.6 inches. And there's the representation on the club face. Uh, over here, impact top view 3.5 right for the launch direction, face angle 5.8 closed, swing path 1.6 out to in. And uh, wow, side spin is zero on that one. Okay, uh, top view. Here's uh, an indication of how far I was off of line. And uh, your side view shows your representation of the trajectory. Uh, the actual apex is right here, 40.3. And uh, the offline amount or launch direction, uh, 3.5 degrees right as I'd said. And somewhere here I think is the offline. There it is here, bottom left. 5.9 yards to the right. Okay, so I'll go back to range and I'll try another one. See if I can actually get this to open up and kind of 
fade or slice for you, but no guarantees. Nope. That came back in with a, uh, a bit of a draw again. So I'll try one more before I show you screens. See if I can actually get this to open up. That one sure opened up. <laughs> so just to give you the shot representation. Club speed 73. Offline 16.2 to the left, as uh, was certainly shown in the uh, in the range trajectory. Uh, very short distance again, but I get, I'm, I'm hitting them light. I just want to put them out there so you get an idea. Uh, now I'll show you the video on this one because it's it's excellent. You can see the club coming through. See my face opening up there to create that slice, and the ball spinning away to the left. Uh, also very very interesting. Take a look at this area here. You can see it kind of moving. You can see the compression in the uh, turf, and that that's an excellent. Um, training to it because it's showing you, hey, you're coming in early, you're taking way too much turf, you're not coming down on the ball. Um, but just, just fantastic video, really. It, it just helps your game so much. All that information, just seeing that. Look, look at the club face open as I come through, strike the ball, and it opens up even further. So lot, lots of great metrics for you here. I'll go back to range. I'll hit one more. And then I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll show you a few chips, a couple flops, maybe go into GS Pro even and show you on course uh, how that happens or how it works and uh, what the performance is like and then some putting. So one more. Okay, that's a little better. I guess I'm loosening up a little bit. 139 total. 128, almost 129 carry, and apex a bit higher too on that shot. I'll show you the video. There it is again. See, this time you can see I compressed the turf a little less, more at impact, if anything, than behind the ball. Club face is a little straighter, ball took off a little straighter. It's kind of spinning less on an axis for sure, and um. Let me show you the, uh, the swing view too. There's the spin on the ball. You can actually see the real ball representation. You can see the logos or the logo. Um, and I should indicate again, in case you didn't know, these are just regular balls. There's no special markings required. And uh, I don't need to put anything on the club's uh, face either, which is fantastic, uh, unlike a lot of other launch monitors. Then I'm lost 22.8. Face angle 4.8, swing path 0.3 out to in. And one more time, just show you the, the larger video. Just a great, great feature. Uh, they do plan on actually adding uh, integration to the software so you can add a side view and rear view camera. That'll be coming in the new year. I, I'm told they're going to work on a few other things first and then that in the new year. And there's that summary view one more time. Okay, so I'm going to move on to uh, GS Pro. I'm going to load it up. Um, in fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll show you how it loads up and you get an idea for how you get, go into gaming mode from here. So you go up to settings and you go into game options here. Before I do that, I'm going to fire up GS Pro here on my laptop to the side. So just bear with me as I do that. Pick up the audio so we don't have to listen to that. Let it finish loading up. And so now what I'll do is I will reduce this window momentarily. And let back in Cortese interface. I'll go to game options. I'm going to choose GS Pro. say here don't forget to disconnect and that's just so that you can go back to using all the full metrics in the lab software when you are done with GS Pro. Okay so we can reduce this window now. I'll just drag it over here so I can look at the uh, 
swing parameters if I want to. We can bring them back across. And I'll just pick, uh, uh, excuse me, I'll just pick a, um, a course that we can play as practice. Maybe Albacola here. And I've got uh, auto putt set at five, snip at 10, putting normal. I'll give myself lots of mulligans when I play. Uh, fairway firm, green normal, a little bit of breeze. So we'll launch that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zero in. I'll, I'll use the eight iron again to get us onto the green. We'll bring it up close and then we'll do some chipping. Okay, so I'll take this closer to the green. Great feature of GS Pro, you can practice on the course. I'm just gonna land the ball somewhere around there. It's 104, I need a bit more distance than that. If I can hit an eight, let's say go back to a ledge or something. Yeah, let's go back a bit further. Okay, that's pushing the limits for me for an eight iron, typically. See a bit of wind up here at 8 miles per hour, so I'm going to aim a little to the left. I tend to uh, draw the ball anyway a bit in, so let's see what happens here. Okay, we'll take it. I think it's going to squeak onto the green. Very, very close anyway. Nope, just shy. Okay, so I'll hit one more. Uh, I'm going to move up to the green anyway and uh, do a chip shot simulation from about that spot. So I'll hit one more. This one I haven't uh, changed the aim. It's right at the flag, so I'll probably wind up right. Let's see if I can maybe move it left myself. Nope, straight. Okay. Did that will make it on, I think. Just. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's do one more. That's going to be right. Okay. These are all just outside the green, which is good because I want to show you chipping anyway. So I'm going to simulate moving up to those spots. So we'll move the ball to the side of the green like that last shot somewhere around here. And I'm going to show you a few different, uh, few different shots here. Get the balls out of the way. So first one I'll try to uh, just hit a bit of a flop chip or flop and uh, show you how well that works. 13 yards, so I'm gonna try to hit this eight or nine, something like that, see what happens. See that launch, that was very, very high and launch monitor picked it up, no problem. We'll do another one. It's loftier, but softer. Okay, so you see it works really, really well. I'm going to run one up now, try to close the face a little bit with this club. I should be switching, but I'll just try to close the face a bit. And now I'm running up. It's working really, really well. Okay, now these are difficult shots for launch monitors too. I'm going to move back and hit one from further back. See, I'm in trouble over here, 45 yards, that's a pretty good one. I'm really going to put this up in the air and give you an idea as to uh, what happens with these shots. So 44 yards, not sure where this is going to land, but I, I will get it up the air with some energy. So you can see it's working, not a great shot, but what I really wanted to demonstrate was how it can pick up those really high lofted shots and that one actually had some velocity. One more, Let's see if I can get a bit closer. Maybe, maybe not. Not the greatest, but okay. All right, so let's move on to putting. So 
So now with in-game putting, you can do, uh, you're aiming two different ways. You can aim yourself just like you would on the course, push the ball left or right on the surface, or you can do in-game betting where you select a, a spot on the screen. I'm going to do this one manually. I'm going to putt this supposed 23 footer with a stint of 10 up six inches. So I'm going to purposely uh, putt to the right and see if it curls back towards the cup and how close we get it. Let's see. Not bad. Try one more. And then I'll do it with the aim or in game aiming. That's a bit hotter. Not bad. Okay, so if you're aiming in game, you come over here, click on the screen, or I have this device on the floor here where I can uh, kind of aim manually if I want to. It's got all my hotkeys plus a joystick so I can move around the course when I need to. Right. A little closer, I don't think it needs that much break. And now, the idea would be, since you've aimed manually, you would just hit a dead straight putt towards the screen the distance that you think it needs to go. So given the stamp of my surface here, I'm aiming for about 18 feet, even though it is six inches uphill, maybe, maybe a little longer, 18, 19 feet. That's pretty good. Okay, so there you have it. Um, a really good demonstration of some shot shaping, although my shot making wasn't too fantastic. I think you did get an idea as to uh, how the launch monitor performs. Certainly with the chipping, a few demo shots of flops, uh, a little bit of your standard you know, pitch and run, and of course the putting. All working fantastically, works within GS Pro, TGC 2019, and E6 Golf. If you are interested in a system, I would love to help you out. I can certainly help you make it work really well in your environment. Just contact me, leo, at leosgolf.com, and I'll be glad to help you out. But for now, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon.